welcome back to Rat's Nest Hot Rods, second episode. We're going to remove the trunk and then uh, work on taking that uh, generic Dynamat, or as uh, me and my friends call it, Gynafat. It's tough stuff and hard to get off. You'll see five different ways from Sunday to uh, during this video on what it took to take it off. Um, you'll see the trim removal, um, trunk latch removal, and uh, just a basic breakdown of a trunk lid and uh, starting to prep for epoxy primer. Um, eventually um, you'll see the sandblasting uh, portions of it. Um, should have listened to my friend Pete at DIY Auto School and SWRNC. Um, blasting is a pain and you can see all those holes on there. It makes it really tough um, to get it all cleaned out and ready for epoxy paint, but I didn't Feel like I had a choice. Anyway, let's, um, what do you say we cut on some music here and I'll check back in in a minute. Here's a good tip that I learned from YouTube and several uh, car shows which uh, pretty much consume my life outside of work and working on this car. Before I took the trunk lid off, I had it lined up, I got it right where I wanted it and then I drilled those two small holes there in between the bolts. They go through the backing plate which is adjustable so you can adjust your trunk. Um, I do this on doors and uh, the hood also. What it does is it allows you to line everything up with a nail through the hinge and then through that back plate perfectly as you took it off and you won't have any alignment issues. Just slide a nail in there, it'll line you up perfectly. As you can see that was not the easiest thing in the world and we're still uh, working on it 
but I've at this point I've figured out that uh, the only way that's coming off there is uh, patience, strength, putty knife, MEK solvent, and uh, just a lot of time and anguish and sweat. Not an easy project, and um, I wish I would have just started with it and just went this direction, but that's kind of how this stuff works sometimes. Okay, let's get back to the music. for a minute and try and draw this out because I don't have any more music. Just kidding. I have no problem talking. Um, my message to you, if you are going to have to remove Dynamat or Gynafat, uh, get yourself a can of MEK solvent, a putty knife, latex gloves, and some time because that's what it's going to take and uh, I don't think there's an easy way to get it off. Uh, keep in mind the MEK will take off pretty much any paint coating that you have underneath, including the, the lacquer that was on here, the red oxide, all the way down to the bare metal. And um, we'll see the videos coming up, the blasting and grinding and sanding and all that good stuff. Sorry about my phone there. Yeah, I'm new. Anyway, it was a fun job. 
No, it wasn't a fun job. It was a terrible job. I don't want to ever do it again. And the guy that did this can uh, pretty much go fuck himself in my book. But I understand why. But uh, remember, if you're going to put Dynamat on your trunk lid to keep that gigantic stereo working, that uh, might want to try and do the weather stripping too because uh, it's pretty much worthless without it. But I know that costs more money than this crappy stick-on duck insulation crap. So I feel you there. Kind of. Stay tuned, guys and girls. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you in upcoming videos. Peace and grease, sucker.